Our story begins about four and a half billion years ago, in a time when the universe was already ancient, having existed for nearly 10 billion years. The universe was already ancient, filled with countless stars and galaxies, each with its own story. But our corner of the cosmos was a bustling cloud of gas and dust, a vibrant and dynamic region teeming with potential. This nebula, a stellar nursery, swirled and churned with energy, a cosmic dance of particles and forces. Gravity, the master sculptor, pulled this cosmic dust together, shaping and molding it with an invisible hand. Slowly, over millions of years, a star began to form at the center of this swirling mass. This was our sun, a fiery ball of hydrogen and helium, igniting and bathing the surrounding disk in light and heat, marking the birth of our solar system. Left over from the sun's formation, the disk continued to spin, a vast rotating cloud of gas and dust, dust grains drawn together by static electricity clumped together, forming larger and larger aggregates. Over millions of years, these clumps grew larger, forming planetesimals, the seeds of future planets. These were the building blocks of planets, the raw materials from which worlds would be born. One of these planetesimals, destined to be our Earth, was slowly taking shape, gathering mass and defining its orbit. It was a chaotic time, with collisions and near misses the norm, a cosmic battlefield where only the strongest would survive and grow. Imagine a world of fire and molten rock. The early Earth was a hostile place. The energy from constant impacts combined with the heat from radioactive decay within the Earth's core kept the surface molten. This period, aptly named the Hadean Era, was a time of intense heat and volcanic activity, but even in this inferno, the seeds of our planet were being sown. As Earth cooled slightly, a thin crust formed on the surface. Volcanoes spewed gases into the nascent atmosphere, a toxic cocktail of nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water vapour. There were no oceans yet, only water vapour trapped in the thick atmosphere. As the Earth continued to cool, something remarkable happened. The water vapour in the atmosphere condensed, falling as torrential rain that lasted for millennia. This deluge formed the first oceans, covering much of the Earth's surface. The oceans were not the tranquil blue we know today. They were likely a murky green, rich in dissolved iron and other minerals. In these primordial waters, life emerged. Simple, single-celled organisms, the earliest life forms, arose in the depths of these oceans. These microorganisms, called prokaryotes, didn't need oxygen to survive. They thrived in the hot, chemically rich environments around volcanic vents. Life tenacious and adaptable had taken hold on our planet. Life on Earth took a giant leap forward during the Proterozoic era. A new type of organism evolved, cyanobacteria. These microscopic creatures possessed a remarkable ability they could perform photosynthesis. Using sunlight, they converted carbon dioxide and water into energy, releasing oxygen as a byproduct. This influx of oxygen had a profound impact on the planet. It reacted with the iron dissolved in the oceans, creating vast iron ore deposits. More importantly, oxygen began to accumulate in the atmosphere, forever changing the course of life on Earth. This was the great oxidation event, a pivotal moment in our planet's history. Section 5, The Cambrian Explosion, Life Finds Its Groove. The stage was set for an explosion of life. The Earth, once a barren and desolate place, was now ready to host a myriad of new forms of life. The oceans, vast and mysterious, began to show the first signs of this incredible transformation. With oxygen levels rising, life in the oceans thrived and diversified. This increase in oxygen was crucial, providing the necessary energy for more complex organisms to develop and flourish in these ancient waters. About 540 million years ago, during the Cambrian period, there was a dramatic burst in evolution. This era marked a pivotal point in the history of life on Earth, as it saw the rapid emergence of a wide variety of life forms. This period, known as the Cambrian Explosion, saw the emergence of most of the major animal groups we know today. It was a time of incredible innovation in the biological world with new body plans and structures appearing at an unprecedented rate. 
Creatures with shells and skeletons evolved, leaving behind an abundance of fossils. These hard parts not only provided protection, but also left a rich fossil record that scientists study to this day. From trilobites scuttling across the seafloor to strange, soft-bodied creatures like Opervenir with its five eyes, the diversity of life forms was astonishing. Each species played a unique role in the ecosystem, contributing to the complex web of life. The Cambrian oceans were a testament to the power of evolution. They were vibrant, dynamic, and full of life, showcasing the incredible adaptability and resilience of living organisms. Life had found its groove, and the planet would never be the same. This explosion of life set the stage for the future evolution of countless species, shaping the biodiversity we see on Earth today. Section 6. The Reign of the Dinosaurs the Mesozoic era, spanning from 252 to 66 million years ago, witnessed the reign of the dinosaurs. This era is divided into three periods, the Triassic, Jurassic and Cretaceous. Each period saw the rise and fall of different dinosaur species adapting to the changing environment. These magnificent creatures, some small and agile, others colossal and powerful, dominated the planet for over 180 million years. From the swift velociraptors to the towering Brachiosaurus, dinosaurs evolved into a diverse array of forms, each uniquely suited to their habitats. The continents, once joined as Pangaea, slowly drifted apart, creating new habitats and driving further evolution. This continental drift led to the formation of mountains, valleys, and new coastlines, which in turn influenced the climate and vegetation, shaping the world the dinosaurs lived in. The dinosaurs' reign was not without its challenges. They faced fierce competition for resources, predatory threats, and environmental changes that tested their survival skills. Volcanic eruptions and asteroid impacts periodically disrupted life on Earth, leading to mass extinctions. These catastrophic events caused dramatic shifts in the climate, wiping out many species and altering the course of evolution, yet life persisted, adapting and evolving to fill the vacant niches. Early mammals and new plant species began to thrive, setting the stage for future biodiversity. The dinosaurs, for all their might, eventually met their end, paving the way for a new era. Their extinction, likely caused by a combination of catastrophic events, allowed mammals to rise and diversify, leading to the world we know today. Section 7. The Rise of Mammals With the demise of the dinosaurs, a new group of animals seized their opportunity mammals. Small and unassuming during the reign of the dinosaurs, mammals were perfectly positioned to take over. They were warm-blooded, intelligent and adaptable, traits that allowed them to thrive in the changing environments. Over millions of years, mammals diversified, evolving into a dazzling array of forms. From the tiniest shrews to the massive whales, mammals conquered land, air, and sea. One particular lineage, the primates, would eventually give rise to our own species, Homo sapiens. Section 8. The Holocene Enter Humanity. The most recent epoch, the Holocene, began about 11,700 years ago, marking the end of the last glacial period. This period witnessed the rise of human civilization. From our humble beginnings as hunter-gatherers, we developed agriculture, built cities, and created complex societies. Human ingenuity and innovation, while impressive, have come at a cost. We have altered the planet's landscapes, polluted its ecosystems and driven countless species to the brink of extinction. The Holocene has become the Anthropocene, an epoch defined by human impact on Earth. Section 9. Earth's Future A Shared Destiny As we look to the future, one thing is clear. Our planet's fate is intertwined with our own. The challenges we face, from climate change to biodiversity loss, require global cooperation and a fundamental shift in our relationship with nature. We have the power to choose our path. By embracing sustainability, investing in renewable energy and protecting our planet's biodiversity, we can create a future where both humanity and nature thrive. The story of Earth is still being written, and we have the opportunity to make it a story of resilience, hope, and a shared destiny for all.